Hi, my name is Jane and welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet and in today's video it's about what I've been sewing this week, my cat fabric pyjamas. So if you fancy joining me for some sewing chat, I shall see you back here in a minute. Uh, before I continue if you love my videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then you'll never miss out on any videos I do bring out so before I start on today's vlog though what am I and what is Mabel wearing I hear you say well we're both wearing funnily enough upcycled recycled old curtains yes we are Let's start with Mabel. Mabel is wearing my Nana's old bark cloth curtains that I have had this fabric for, I was talking to my mum about this the other day, this fabric must be at least older than me, so I'm 53, this fabric must be over 50 years old because my mum remembers my Nana having these curtains in her pantry way before I was born. So that's how old this fabric is. And I remember my Nana giving me this fabric when she downsized, she moved from her house after my granddad died, she moved from her house to a bungalow and she didn't have a pantry. So she said to me, well, she was gonna throw them out actually. And I says, oh, Nana, don't throw them out. You can't throw fabric out, can I have them? So she gave them to me and I've had them in my sort of ironing basket uh, things that go in the bottom of that basket. I don't know whether you've got the same, an ironing basket. It goes in the basket and never comes out from one year to the next. Well, this is one of them. And I've just gone through the basket a few weeks ago and I just pulled this fabric out and thought I really must make something with this fabric. I can't continue just to keep looking at it. So I made this ruffle sleeve blouse, which is um, a pattern, free pattern you can download from the Peppermint magazine and it's created by In The Folds. So that's, so that's one curtain and I absolutely love it. And what am I wearing? Another sort of curtain hack type of thing. This is the Carson dress pattern and the top part of the bodice is some more curtains that I've had in the bottom of my iron basket for eons. And this is all vintage Sanderson fabric that I got, which were curtains I got from a charity shop or oh, 20 years ago and never did anything with. So I put them to use on my Carson dress. The Carson dress I made, it was all one colour, it was all this brown colour, but I never, I didn't wear it enough because I, I thought it was a bit too drab and it, the neckline was a lot lower. So I rehacked it, took the bodice off, put the Sanderson fabric on the bodice, raised the neck slightly, and now I wear it all the time. And or if you're just wondering what I've got around my neck, this is my crochet lacy neck shawl, which you can find the full tutorial and the PDF pattern over on Loopy Mabel Crochet, my other channel. So back to what I've been sewing this week. Well, if you remember a few videos ago, I showed you some fabrics that I was planning three uh, projects to sew in a week and I managed to do the two of the projects, but I didn't get to do the third project, which was this cat fabric. I shall just remind you of the fabric. Now, this is a fabric I got from Minerva. Com. I'm a guest blogger on there and what you do is if you do a guest blog post they send you some fabric in return for a blog post. So I was sent this fabric but when I got it I realised it certainly is not me, not me at all and I was quite disappointed because when I chose it I thought it was smaller and less bolder shall we say. I'm not into quirky, I'm not into anim I love animals, I've got four cats, but I'm not into anything quirky, gimmicky, and I wouldn't dream of wearing animal images or anything like that. God, honestly, to be honest, I don't know what I was thinking when I chose this fabric that day. 
I must have been having a bad moment or clicked the wrong link on the list that they send you out, I don't know. Anyway, the fabric turned up and obviously I had to make something with it. But it's, I mean, it's just not me. You've got to agree, surely this is just not my type of fabric. It's beautiful fabric, beautiful quality fabric. It's a gorgeous stretch jersey and it's beautiful fabric. Gorgeous to sew and everything. Cannot fault it at all. I can only fault my decision in choosing it. So I've only got myself to blame, but I wasn't gonna not do anything with it. So I have made something with it at last. And I'll show you what I've made. I'll show you the pattern first of all. It was the New Look 6762 pattern and it's got on there it's got the skirt the wide leg pants and it's got a sash tie and like a t-shirt type top so I made the bottoms the pants and the top and I made them into pajamas because I thought what on earth am I going to do with this fabric because it is not going to be worn by me but my mum said, make them into some pyjamas, come lounge wear, and then you can wear them around the house and nobody's going to see them. I thought, brilliant idea. And I had this pattern, so that's what I did. So that's the pattern, really simple pattern. So that's the pattern I used and show you the, these are the, so I'm going to wear them as pyjamas. So these are the bottoms. And can I just say, they're absolutely massive. I've had to take them in. The thing is, when the on the pattern, I'm in between sizes. I don't know about anybody else, but every time I pick a pattern, I am never medium or I'm never large. I'm never. I'm just always in between, and it always recommends if you're in between, you go upper size. So I've, I'm, I was in between the medium and the large, but really I was just teetering on the edge of medium, but I went up to large because that's what it says. Go up if you. But really, I should have stuck to my guns and stuck with the medium and it would have fit perfect. And it was massive, absolutely massive. So I had to take the legs in and I've chopped off some extra at the side of the legs because they are quite a wide leg pant. So I chopped all that off as well after I took them in because I thought if I didn't, I'm just going to end up in a tangled mess in bed every time I turn around and twist. I can imagine just the, the pyjama bottom just twisting and getting tangled and no, that wouldn't be for me. And I didn't want to waste the fabric. I, I was going to make something. I was going to wear it. I did not want to waste it. I am trying so hard to cut down on fabric waste and just f frivolity, if that's the right word, just willy-nilly making sewing not really thinking about what I'm doing well this is obviously not the case um, I'm trying so hard to be more considerate when I'm sewing so I'm pleased I've got it out the way and I've made something with it it's just only going to be worn for bedtime and I'll show you the top the top and this is the top it's not my best make, if I have to be honest, uh, because I think my heart really wasn't in it. So it's not as perfect as I would like, shall we say. But, I'll, um, but also, I haven't stitched with a jersey fabric um, for quite some time. The last thing I made with jersey fabric was my Almada robe. So this is only the second jersey fabric that I have stitched with in a long, long time. And I completely forgot how to edge things, do the edging, and I just completely forgot. So I did the sleeve edgings, like my ways, if I was stitching with cotton or with a woven, turned it over and over again and thought, well, it's, I thought, well, it's not brilliant. But when I come to do the hem, I followed what the actual pattern said and I set my stitch to the long zigzag stitch and stitched it and I did a double row of stitching. You probably won't be able to see. Did a double row of stitching on the hem, which stitched much nicer. And I wish I did that with the sleeves, but I wasn't going to pick the sleeves out. But yeah, I should have done that with the sleeves. 
And as you pretty can tell by my face, it's not my favourite, but I'll wear them as pyjamas and absolutely great. The only other thing I found, I don't know whether anybody else has found this, maybe I've done something wrong. The, when I put the neck binding on, it's it's still a bit, it's still a little bit gapy for, for my liking. Can you see how it doesn't quite, a little bit gapy there. So I don't know what I did wrong. So if anybody can tell me what I did wrong or recommend a tip to avoid that for the next time, because I am fancy making this top again, because I think it's a really lovely top. Be an ideal t-shirt, essential bedtime top. But I don't want to come with that slack, gapy neck area. So if anybody can give me some ideas where I went wrong, I'll be very grateful. So yeah, so disaster, not disaster really. Fabric, it's not me, but I've made a pair of pyjamas, which I will wear. Beautiful fabric. And I suppose the moral of the story is, for me anyway, is slow down, Jane. When you get a list of fabrics from Minerva, you don't have to choose something that's on the list. It's not vital, it's not uh, imperative. It's not mandatory that you pick something. You can just, you know, wait till the next list comes out. But I didn't. Well, I'm a little bit annoyed at myself, but I've learned again, another lesson learned. Whenever the list comes out from Minerva, if there's a fabric on there that I don't like or I don't fancy or that just is not me, I'm not going to pick any. I'm just going to wait till the next list comes out and I'm going to be a little bit more choosy. Plan more. Decide what I've got in my wardrobe. Decide what would go as a staple part of my wardrobe. Is it going to fit in with what I've already got? Or is it just going to stand out like a sore thumb and then never get worn? So I really am trying to be a bit more aware of my wardrobe and my sewing. But going back to the pattern, really simple pattern. So simple to make. You can literally make this set in an afternoon, a few hours. Really simple. Instructions spot on. All I would say is that the sizing comes out quite big. What, what Also, what do you do if you're in between sizes? Do you go up a size or do you, do you stick with the size that you think you should be? I'd be interested to know too because I think if I'd have stayed with the medium, it would probably fit a lot better. But there you go. So I've never really sewn anything with the new look patterns or I haven't really sewn that many actually with any of the big four sewing um, companies. So if you've got any hints and tips on the patterns, do they come out big or anything else that you think would be a benefit to me and other uh, viewers, let me know in the comments box below. I'm interested to know. But there we go. That is my cat fabric two-piece pyjama lounge set. Will get worn, but obviously only me and my husband and my four cats are ever going to see it. And obviously you guys have seen it, but anyway, I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden, trying to model it as best I can, but you can tell by the way I'm standing that it's, it's you can tell I'm quite, it's just not me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so what do you think? So yeah, so they are my cat, quirky cat pyjamas making the new look 6762 pattern. Going to get lots of wear for bed but nowhere else but there you go, I will live and learn. Lesson learned, Jane, to slow down and be more aware of what I'm going to sew and planning on sewing. But hope you liked this video, hope it's entertained you at least, if nothing else. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and any comments, anything, any thoughts, any suggestions on this pattern, I would love to know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell and then you'll never miss out all the videos that I do bring out. If you're interested in my crochet items, please don't forget to join me over on Loopy Mabel Crochet for lots of free step-by-step -step tutorials. But until the next time, please take care and happy sewing.